Now, this video came out this weekend, and we're not shocked by it, but Bravo Snarkside posted this, and you can see Ariana Maddox, we eliminated the audio so we wouldn't get in trouble, but you can see her right here smooching with her new man. So yes, this is absolutely confirmed. Jason was trying to ask me, he's like, Adam, are you sure that this is a thing? It's 100% a thing. So much uh, so that actually... To be fair, this came out, and I trust Glorify Gossip Girl on Instagram, but she posted a few things, and we're going to get into all of it. Actually, a lot of things she posted. Let's start with this. I have confirmation that Ariana and Daniel, who's Daniel Way, are a thing. They met at the wedding. This would be the wedding that she went to in Mexico, and... So they met there, and he lives in New York City. He's staying with them, them being at Sheena's house. He's a great guy, and he's being super cute getting along with them. I want to hear what you guys have to say in the live chat, because so many people so far are slamming this. And I saw this all over Twitter, where people and fans, people who are just watching the Scandal play out, they're saying Ariana is moving on too soon. What is too soon? I don't understand what she's supposed to mourn the loss of. A narcissistic guy who was cheating on her like i think that people want her to honestly stay home bunker down and not be around anyone but i just feel like that's crazy to even ask of her she's happy she's dancing with this guy she's not saying i'm getting married she's not saying i'm about to go have kids but she's allowed to go do whatever she wants to do let's see what you guys are saying in the live chat i'm happy for ariana good for her let her go live your less or live your best life ariana let her be happy. Oh, for God's sake, let the girl live. And their relationship was long over before they broke up. It's not too soon at all. I completely agree with this. I think that the guy seems like he's super nice. And if we're going to, I mean, if we're going to look at anybody, it's like, why not just, um, you know, let her do her thing. But I wanted to bring up really quick. Let me see if I can bring this up here. Hold on. I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to show you guys his account really quick. And I saw where his account is already blowing up from this weekend where he had 15,000 subscribers when we first reported on him. And now he has about 20,000 subscribers. So I'm not surprised. And of course, people are automatically going to attack him for that too, saying, oh, this is a come up. Well, you don't know what the situation is. Hold on. Here it is. So this is the guy. Right here. This is Ariana's new man. Just in case anybody was wondering, he's the guy. That's the one. This is Daniel. We can move on now, guys. I'm more interested in talking about what's going on with Raquel and Tom. The Raquel and Tom of it all because Tom was just seen with Billy Lee. Now, Kristen Doty slammed this whole concept of Billy Lee hanging out with Tom Sandoval. And I have some conspiracy theories but before we get into the conspiracy theories, I ended up going on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube this past weekend on Friday, sharing with you guys, because it was all over page six, all over Radar Online, all over major media outlets that, well, she was not, Raquel was not actually at a mental health facility. Instead, she was bunkered down at a med spa. All right, a med spa. Now, does that sound like the worst thing ever? No. But is it far different than what they were trying to sell us? Yes, 100%. A med spa and a mental health facility, those are two totally different things. Well, Glorify Gossip Girl on Instagram again, she kind of clarified her stance on it, telling us that, well, she's got some information. I don't know how true this is. But I am curious, and we know now because we originally reported that it was going to be Marival that they were meeting up at. Tom Sandoval was going to meet Raquel. Well, he's definitely going to Marival. I already have confirmation of that. I believe he's going to be there this week, and they are supposed to be there together. But now, based off of what Glorified Gossip Girl is saying, guys, 400 in the room, smash that like button. She is reportedly here. Glorified Gossip Girl said, allegedly, this is where Rachel is. I do trust this person, but I will say, so it's not fake news. It is alleged. 
The Meadows is a very upper ends rehab center. And if you have ever been to rehab and aren't very wealthy, it looks nothing like this experience. I'll post some pictures of one of mine. It looked like a trap house. My friends were terrified to even enter. Okay. So this is where they're claiming she's at right now. I mean, that's definitely different than what we were originally under the impression of. But we still know that they're going to Marival together. And this was the original text message. She is at the Meadows in Arizona. I have a close blank. They blacked it out. They're right now. Didn't come for me. LOL. I'm kind of believing the post that says they both check into Marival on Tuesday. She went to a real rehab for Raquel to save her image. Now she's going on a spa vacation with her man. She's definitely in a treatment though. Mm, I don't know about that one, guys. I don't think that she's in a treatment. I mean, even still, I don't think that it's right for who are we to question? We don't get to question anything like that. But I think it's because when you're putting it out there through your rep, oh, she's seeking certain help. It seems like a total PR stunt. And I think right now, by the way, A underscore Marie 15, welcome to uh, memberships. I think the problem here is, is that since her rep is putting this out, since her rep put out the whole situation with Sheena, the temporary restraining order, the allegedly false police report, it seems like one desperate play after another. That is the problem because now the fans feel like they're bamboozled. I even had Bronwyn Wyndham Burke's mother who came on my Instagram and commented, remember Bronwyn from the Real Housewives of Orange County? And her mom was like, Adam, going to a medical spa and you know meditating, whatever, that's still mental health. Yes, I get all of this, but... It's not the same thing as a mental health facility. A med spa is not the same. Jamie Benton, oh my gosh, a spa in a mental facility is nothing alike. Wow, lucky Raquel. I don't care where she is. She is narcissistic and should be let go. That's definitely not the Phoenician, Marival, or Tal Tailson West. Oh, I don't know what those things say. Um, her reps seem pretty sketch. I'm just saying, yeah, I agree. What do you guys think? Is she just doing it for PR? I mean, that's a great question, Shaylee. I think she wants PR in the hideout with the bad upcoming episodes. At this point, I can't believe anything that she says. Raquel has the absolute shittiest PR team in the history of reality TV. Oh, people go there for vacation, not treatment. Exactly, Adam. Med spas are where rich people go for treatment. All of us normies go to actual hospitals that our insurance will cover. Yeah, that's exact. That is the whole point. That is all. That is literally what I'm talking about. That is the only reason that I'm talking about it because it doesn't make sense to me. And now I was looking at this med spa, right? And you can see like little videos of it. Hold on. I'm going to share it with you guys. Cause this is for those of you guys who were not, or who didn't watch the video before, this is exactly what Miraval looks like. Okay. So this is Miraval. Very, very beautiful. And if you go, let's say randomly, we don't know which one she's at, right? But you go, life in spa. I mean, about the life in balance spa. You have a flow water hydration station, herbal teas, bathrooms and sandals, sauna, shower, serenity pool, a boutique, a quiet room, locker rooms, hot tubs, steam rooms, skincare treatments. Um, you have a whole skincare menu. You can download the whole menu. What? This is not the same thing. And then if you go to the menu, stay with us. Accommodations. Yeah. Explore suites. Yeah, this looks like a real mental health facility. I mean, amenities included in all accommodations. Bats collection, dry bar hair dryer, TV, in-room meditation channels. Mm, I don't know about this. I'm going to go with a big fat no. It's a no for me, guys. Well, also, speaking of which, Billy Lee has now been entered into the conversation because Billy Lee was spotted walking around with Tom Sandoval. Now, I have conspiracy theories about this, too, because Kristen Doty has slammed Billy Lee over this, and she called out her former Vanderpump Rules co-star, saying 
with kind of like a side eye roll eye emoji as she cried at Ariana's house days after Ariana found out. Sm. Well, yeah, she's seen now all of a sudden running around with Tom Sandoval. And I think what's happening here is it's clear. Billy Lee is not on the show. Nobody wants to film right now who's on the show. There's not a place for Billy Lee. There's just really not. She was phased out of the show. And I think the part of the reason that she was phased out of the show, and this is not to get anybody upset or anything like that, but it was because the whole show was built up off of conflict and resolution, just like the housewives. When some of the girls would get in conversations or altercations with Billy Lee, Billy Lee would automatically call them phobic or you're transphobic or you're a white cis female, which that's how Billy felt. Okay. But at the end of the day, the entire cast worked in the heart of West Hollywood and one of the biggest LGBTQIA plus communities. I know the cast and I know 1 million percent that they're so accepting of every, like they are not transphobic at all. It's just not, they're not. So I think when you have Billy, who sometimes would get in these arguments, it was very, she was very quick to say, you are this. And I think that that became sort of an issue with the cast members because the cast members were so afraid that they were going to be labeled as such. Because once it airs out on TV, you don't have control over the edit, so you don't know how it's going to play out. Now, if Billy Lee attaches her wagon over to Tom Sandoval, Tom Sandoval now has somebody who will actually film with him because who knows what's going to happen with Raquel. So Tom Sandoval can now film with Billy Lee and also off and on with Tom Schwartz. And Billy Lee will come in and go to bat for Tom Sandoval. So boom, now he has somebody who he, he can film with and production is not making it. It's not, it's not such a difficult time for production. They can manage this. 